I'll tell them what I told one of my colleagues in a class. Uh, it was a biomedical science class, and I remember she was telling me that, you know, you're wasting your time doing double degree uh, of law and science, and that, you know, the mother did law, and the mother obviously has not reached far, and she was an African uh, young girl, and, you know, she talked me out of it, and she was saying all these sort of negative things, and I said, your mom's experience may be different from my experience. And what I would tell those young people is, obviously, imagine someone like myself, you know, who has been a refugee for 18 years of his life, uh, and somebody like myself, who has never had formal early childhood education. Obviously, I went to school when I would have been seven. That was when I started learning the alphabet, writing on a sandy soil, you know, with my finger, A, B, C, D, and doing the cramming. Imagine someone like myself who doesn't have any connections, don't have any family, came here in 2004, going through uh, university, getting a degree and being able to, you know, get an entry into law and being able to practice. I can say probably maybe what Barack Obama <laughs> normally say during his first campaign that yes, you can or yes, we can. So they can do it. All they need is, you know, persistence, you know, sometimes you know, there's a saying that when you have negative attitude towards anything, what you get is negative. But if you are positive and remain positive, you know, it may not be the first opportunity that will arise. You could get knocked back 10 times, 100 times, but keep pushing. The other advice is sometimes, you know, if you're a law graduate and it is becoming difficult to gain, uh, get entry, into first year or graduate entry, there are other alternative pathways, entry level roles, for example, could be government junior roles, which are probably maybe under wage. All you need is an experience. So, and once you get the experience, the money will come later on. So you could get into those entry roles and start as junior as you are, and then make entry pathways. And I remember telling one of our guy from our community some time back, that you know, I persuaded him, encouraged him to go to school, and he started with diploma of IT. You know, a few years ago, he had masters in IT, and we normally have this conversation. And he says, you know, it was amazing that he told me this sort of advice, and you know, always being there to push me and advising me to remain there. The other thing is, you know, getting your resume and going door knocking. You know, there are many single and sole practitioners that would need a hand. So if you go in and you know, providing you know, some support and, you know, volunteering that you want to help, they will take you on board. There are legal community centers that are there. You need to build your experience to be above, you know, other people or being a competitive. So without doing that, law at the moment is quite competitive and I think a lot of people are getting disheartened simply because when you are a law student, there are many other law students, there are many universities pumping out a lot of law graduates. But to be above uh, the top competitive people, you need to be a well-rounded person in a number of areas and building yourself. So I can tell them, don't give up, be persistent and determined. <laughs>